Hey everyone, here's some video of our 2022 Little Miss and Mr. Magnolia State pageant. This year we had the state's most handsome boys and most beautiful girls gather in Vicksburg, Mississippi for the two-day competition. We have age group for boys and girls ages 0 to 11 years old. Our contestants compete in only two competitions, the casual wear competition like you're seeing right now and then also the beauty competition. Each of our two categories accounts for 50% of the contestants' total score. Now in the casual wear competition, our girls are just asked to wear everyday trendy type clothes, nothing too glitzed out. We are not a glitzed out pageant at all. We're just looking for beautiful girls having a great time in a normal wardrobe. And as you can see, beauty is no problem at the Little Miss Magnolia State Pageant. We actually have the prettiest girls from all over the state of Mississippi that come from the Gulf Coast all the way up to the top of the state in South Haven and Tishomingo County compete. So we cover everyone in the state and they have a fantastic time with us. Now we have a lot of local directors throughout the state of Mississippi that put on preliminary pageants where their winners can advance on to our state pageant. We also have a couple just for fun pageants for kids that are just wanting to get their feet wet to see what pageants are all about with an optional event where they can attend state as well. Now, if this is something you think your child might enjoy, just visit our website. It's easy to remember. It's www.missmagnoliastate.com. Now, when you go online, you just click the little tab that says applications and it'll show you everything we have coming up. Now, as you can see, our younger kids, ages 0 to 5, we do require a parent to walk them out for competition because we do have a runway that's about 3 feet off the stage. So we just want to make sure they're safe. And you see all of our parents are dressed in solid black when they walk their kids out. And we do this so the parents really don't take away any attention from the kids. And also in the pictures, the parents blend a little bit in the background when they're dressed in black. Oh, here comes one of our little bitty groups. Now, the little ones are always fun to watch. Most of the babies are always in a great mood, having a great time. And one thing I like is sometimes parents ask me, what should we wear for casual wear? So I did this little video so you could see what some of the kids are wearing. But one of the fun parts of the Little Miss Magnolia State pageant is seeing the creativity the parents come up with. Everybody usually has a totally different outfit. And then we move on to the formal wear competition, which we call the beauty competition. As you can see, our little boys are wearing suits or dress clothes. Now we do have some rules for the outfits for the girls because we are trying to keep all of our girls on the same level. Now you cannot come in a full-fledged pageant dress, a glitz pageant dress at all, anything that resembles a national level pageant dress isn't allowed at Little Miss Magnolia State. We prefer these trendy, fun dresses. They can have some sequins on them, they can have some pearls, they can even have minor, minor rhinestones on them. But we do make you bring your dress to registration for approval to make sure it is okay to compete in. One reason we have this rule is because we don't want some kids showing up in a $2,000 dress and some showing up in a $25 dress. Like I said, we do want to keep everyone about on the same playing field. Now, personality will win the Little Miss Magnolia State pageant every day of the week, so you don't have to go spend a fortune on a dress. I say instead of spending $2,000 on a pageant dress, go put that up for a college education. One thing we do as a little happy that we don't have to do, but I just love doing it for the kids every year, is every time each kid walks off the stage, we hand them a toy. And the ones that have competed before know they're getting a toy, so they're excited to come off the stage. So they get one after beauty and they get one after casual wear. And as a state pageant director, one thing I'm adamant about, especially with the kids, is making sure everyone goes home with something great. My niece competes and we've been to a pageant where we've left with absolutely nothing and at one of my pageants that will never happen. So we make sure the kids all get a big tote bag full of toys and goodies. They all get a trophy and I hate to give away the surprise but they also get something to put on their head. 
but our state winners get a little bit better package than our uh, runners up and participants do. Our state queens each receive a big five foot tall trophy, a uh, monogrammed custom made banner, a tote bag full of toys, and a thousand dollars cash. Another fun thing is our kids are promoted throughout the year on our website, MissMagnoliaState.com, and we also promote them on our Facebook page, which you can find as Miss Magnolia State. Now, we are one of the only little kid pageants that still does a giant program book as a keepsake for all of our contestants. All of our contestants do appear in the book on the roster pages, and then also they all have ads in the back of the book. And at registration on Friday, we give every one of the contestants a program book. And also, our Little Miss and Mr. Magnolia State Queens do have the opportunity to come back to our November Big Girl pageant where they get to walk the runway on Sunday to be recognized to the state. They are also featured in the program book the next year when they come back to crown the new winners. We have also been fortunate enough to be chosen in the top 10 best pageants in the United States of America for three years by the pageant planet. One year we were in the top 10, one year we were chosen as the fourth best pageant in the United States, and then one year we were chosen as the second best pageant in the United States. So that's pretty impressive out of thousands of pageants. And last year we were given a top five finish for best prize packages in the United States. So again, if you think this is something you and your child might enjoy, just give it a look. Go on the website. It's www.missmagnoliastate.com and check us out. Like I said, we have some beginner pageants there so you can get your feet wet. And then we have preliminary pageants where you can come to state and try your luck at the state pageant. Now we've had newcomers win the state pageant every single year. Our local directors are currently booking their pageants as we speak. So probably by January of each year, we do have a pretty complete website of all the local pageants throughout Mississippi. You can find one close to your hometown to enter. In the past, we've asked our contestants to each bring a bag of pet food to registration. We've been donating pet food for years to all the different animal shelters throughout the state. So this year we tried something a little different. We had a um, charity market where they would bring a gift and we would sell all the gifts at the pageant and we were able to donate $1,500 to St. Jude this year, and we'll be donating another $500 to Kara No-Kill Animal Shelter. So we're very proud to say over the last seven, eight years, we've donated over $20,000 in donations to different causes, such as St. Jude, Blairy Batson, Make-A-Wish Foundation, and various animal shelters, and sometimes to contestants that need help that are fighting different diseases. So I love being a part of the Miss Magnolia State family, and I love how all of our contestants and families help us out. So I hope you were able to spot someone you knew in the video, but what we're about to do now is introduce our Miss Magnolia State Queens, our Junior Miss, Teen Miss, and Mrs., and show you how they are also a part of the Little Miss Magnolia State pageant. The treat for the kids, we had all four of our older girl winners here, Kai, Emma, Haley, and Kayla, to have a good time with the queens. Miss Kai was Tiana for the Disney Princess number, and then we had Miss Emma, representing Rapunzel for the kids. Then we had our Miss Magnolia State, Haley Shu, represent Pocahontas for the kids with her ribbon dance, Colors of the Wind. And then we had Elsa's sister, Anna, who is Ella Grace Williams, our team winner from last year, join her on stage to help us out this year. So I'm gonna let everyone hear the rest of the opening number and let you see how great our queens did for the kids this year. And then we'll go straight into crowning.
then we had all of our 2021 Little Miss and Mr. Magnolia State Kings and Queens join us on stage to be a part of the production number as well. And then, of course, this is everyone's favorite part, the finale. And now I'll just let the video play so you can see the crowning in each division. And our other first alternate is a gold star winner or gold trophy winner. So you need to stay to the end. And he is Carlos Palmer II, Tiny Mr. Grenada County. So now we are going to crown a tiny Mr. Magnolia State and a little Mr. Magnolia State. We're going to do it separately, give you your moments. We're going to begin with our tiny Mr. Magnolia State. And he's Ricky Owens Jr., tiny Mr. Columbus. And he is going to receive his state trophy, crown, banner, and $250 cash.
going to have you exit to your right to get your official pictures made. And then we are going to move into our older boy, our little Mr. Magnolia State. And we're going to crown our new little mister. He's Robert Brown, little Mr. Queen City. And he's receiving his trophy, his state banner, crown, and $250 cash. Robinson, baby Miss Tupelo. She's the first alternate, baby Miss Tupelo, Malia Robinson. And that means you're new. Baby Miss Magnolia State, Roxanne Wedgeworth, Baby Miss Sweet Pea. She's receiving her state crown, sash, trophy, and a thousand dollars cash.
Okay, we have our, our top two. So would y'all like to come down to the front of the stage, Mom? Just right here. <laughs> Yeah. Y'all want to come down? Or are you good? Okay. All right. So I'll have to say first, our first alternate is a gold trophy winner. Okay. Our first alternate is Natalie Edmondson, Teeny ah. Miss Itawamba County. Your new teeny Miss Magnolia State's Coraline Hall, teeny Miss Blue Suede Shoes. She's getting her big trophy, her state banner and crown, and a thousand dollars cash. All right, we 
have our final two ladies. First alternate, Charlie Texador, Little Miss Mississippi Aquarium. And our new Little Miss Magnolia Saints is Rowan LaFontaine, Little Miss Black Queen. Throwing a big hand, she's our new Little Miss Magnolia State. She's getting her state crown, trophy, her state banner, and a $1,000 cash. We're going to continue with our fourth alternate. And she is Breland Eldridge, Young Miss, Heart of Sweet Pea. Our third alternate, Jocelyn Stewart, Young Miss Itawamba County. Second alternate, Cambry Ware, Young Miss Southern Mississippi. All right, we have our final two ladies. Let's have y'all come stand a little farther. You want to come stand, take a couple steps? Ready? All right. Okay. Our first alternate is a gold star winner. Okay. And the first alternate is Annabelle Texador, Young Miss Starkville. She's Annabelle Texador. She's our gold star first alternate, Young Miss Starkville. We'll see her again. But our winner in our Young Miss Division is Sarah Hamilton Farr, Young Miss Sweet Pea. She's receiving her state crown, banner, trophy, and a thousand dollars cash. Jasmine Dozier, preteen Miss Lowndes County. Third alternate, Mia Rickman, preteen Miss Northwest Mississippi. Second alternate, Ramey LaFontaine, preteen Miss Black Creek. All right, let's get our final two ladies to like come a little closer together. First alternate, Ava Joy Shepherd, preteen Miss Tupelo.
first alternate, Ava Joy Shumper, preteen Miss Tupelo. And that means our new preteen Miss Magnolia State is Carson Sullivan, preteen Miss Central Mississippi. She was also an oh, online viewer's choice that received 85 or more, so we'll give her that. She is receiving her state crown banner, trophy, and a thousand dollars pack. She is Carson Sullivan, preteen Miss Central Mississippi, our new preteen Miss Magnolia State. Well, I hope we see you next year, and it all starts by checking out the website at www.missmagnoliastate.com.